So in the last video we saw how to scrap this website. We created this spider and using this spider we were able to get this output.json file. I gave you one exercise. The exercise was to go to any of the Wikipedia page and get only the table of contents. So let's do this exercise. So let me open shell. If it is already open, what you can do is either you can exit the shell using the exit command and reopen or there is one more thing that can be done. We can issue the fetch command. So in the fetch command, if you provide a URL like this and if you look at response, you will see that the response has switched to the new URL. So we can reuse this scrappy shell. So let's look at the page and see how we can build the selectors. So right click on the contents, click on inspect. If we collapse it, we can see that the table of content is TOC level 1, TOC section 1, section 2, 3. So this class TOC level 1 dash 1, this class is for every item. So let's try using this class, only this class, because the second class is changing. So let's go to the shell and try this class. Now because this is a class, we need to use dot, call the get all method. And we got nothing. Why? Let's go back to the page and expand it. So we can see that inside li we have anchor tag. Inside anchor we have two spans. So we will have to go to this li, then go to a and then go to toc text. So let's update our CSS. So we can actually skip the anchor tag and just provide toc text like that. Let's run it. And there we have a list of all the items. Now we can of course modify it and improve it little bit. For example, right now let's say let's look at the item 3. Syntax and semantics. So we have it here. Syntax and semantics number 3. The next one is indentation. Which is actually a subtopic. So what if we don't want this? What if we want only the level 1? So if we inspect it, we will see that this is TOC text. But this is itself is in a separate UL. So what we can do is we can modify. We can modify this selector and put this greater than symbol. So what it does it, it will select only the children. Now here I have a tip for you. If you are not very comfortable in writing CSS, a complex CSS like this. Now actually no, this is not very complex. It can become a way more complex. It becomes very difficult. For that I have a solution for you. If you are using Chrome, just search for selector gadget. The extension selector gadget. Now this selector gadget extension is very useful in creating selectors. So once you add it, you will see one button which is which becomes visible. So whenever you want to create a CSS, just click on this and select the item that you want. So we want it and we will see all the items which will be selected. So whatever you don't want, you click it again. So 3.1 indentation, we don't want it. So we click it again. But now we have only one item selected. We also want this item selected. So click on it. And now it looks okay. So only the first level items in this table of contents are now selected. And we have the selector created ready for us. So just press Ctrl C. And let's try it out. So actually it's not very different from what I created. But yes, we did not have to use so much brains. It reduced some level of thinking for us. But we want it does not work 100% of the times. 
there will be scenario where it will fail to create a selector and you will have to use your own logic